Okay, go. Money. So, internationally famous uh, pop star Roy Stride, you're obviously well known for your music career with Scatting for Girls, uh, including Bring Us the Hits, She's So Lovely, and This Ain't a Love Song. Um, what the hell are you doing co presenting a podcast about aviation? Uh, I'm co presenting a podcast on aviation because I am the only one out of you four who know how to put a podcast together <laughs> or how to use a microphone. <laughs> Uh, I, I do. I've been interested in flying and aviation since I was a a nipper. Uh, I love I love planes. I love history, and I've just like last year started learning to fly. And I was supposed to be learning this year, but uh, uh, obviously I'm now just stuck in a studio. <laughs> Um, so pop star pilots, I think there's many apocryphal stories about pop stars and airplanes, uh, naked parties on them, a hat being flown to Paris first class. Uh, any similar stories with Scout for Girls? <laughs> no, we never, <laughs> we never really got to the level of any sort of private jet. The, the best I can come up with was uh, we did a TV show in Papua New Guinea. Uh, oh. It was called Singing in the Rainforest. <laughs> <laughs> We're, basically, we only really agreed to it was because it was 10 days away and they promised to, to fly us to Papua New Guinea in business. And Pete, our drummer, had never been in business before in his life. Flat, you know, sit down beds. Anyway, on the, <laughs> on the, the plane back, he was so, you know, we were, you know, we'd spent a week with this tribe writing music with them. <laughs> he was so excited for the, for the flight back and the sit down bed. Uh, but what he he'd done in Papua New Guinea uh, just before the night before we left, we stayed at a hotel and he had too much to drink. And also he had, he had the ice and he had the worst. <laughs> so I was next to him in this flat bed and literally every 15 minutes he was <laughs> as he ran in his stop to the toilet. So like, <laughs> and that's about as rock and roll as it's ever got <laughs> you've just got a minibus haven't you most of the time yeah yeah the glamour the glamour uh, we call it a splitter van <laughs> <laughs> sometimes a tour bus yeah so no lear jets or um gulf streams more no, logan no. air no. um and have you ever ever written a song about airplanes or flying there's a song on our first album, which is very popular, uh, along hardcore fans, called Airplane Song. And oh. there's a video on YouTube, uh, which we, it was a video we did with a friend of ours called Jim, who was our friend from school, who loved planes. And we kind of went right up to the perimeter at Heathrow and we played, you know, we mimed along to the airplane song. And I remember there's an is it there's actual shot in the video as this A380 came o as this A380 came over, and it was one it was one of the first A380s, and we were really excited about it. Uh, and Jim, who was an electric electrician, is now cabin crew for EasyJet. Oh, wow. He always loved planes, so uh, so that's yeah. You, you, the, one of your album covers has got a, a picture of a Boeing 707 on the front, doesn't it? They re, they they sing a love song, which was number one. It's a great link. Great, great song. Great song. Uh, almost like that was planned. Yeah, <laughs> that was good. Uh, well done, bro. Uh, Thanks. Yeah, and do you know why it has absolutely no relevance to the song at all? It was just <laughs> by that point we were we were so massive as a band that those sort of graphic design things were like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Play, yeah, I love planes. Brilliant. That's, that's no, no meaning to it at all. I do like it. And of all of all the people um, on your, I'm sure, enviable contact list, you could have co-presented with, why these three? Well, uh, Jez, Careful. who is here, <laughs> I met Jez because our kids uh, used to go to the same school, and so I met Jez, and we became uh, very good friends, basically because we liked beer and cricket, and our kids played cricket, and I discovered that Jez was really into. Uh, uh, history and planes in particular like uh, second world war and so for greg our bass player's birthday his 40th we invited jez along to greg's 40th birthday where we went and had a taxi ride on a lancaster and that's how i really got to know jez is, is greg into airplanes at all greg yeah he is he, he did he was, know he was 
<laughs> before this? Well, <laughs> did, you just, he, did you just hijack his birthday and say, we're going to a Lancaster? Absolutely, totally. <laughs> <But> <laughs> I, he really yeah. isn't into planes as much as, <laughs> as that. But I've been trying to get on that Lancaster for like three or four yeah. years. And I suddenly saw the date. And it was, it's kind of one of those things because it's quite expensive to do. And so you kind of, it's quite a hard one to get past the wife. So you have to kind of justify it in some way. You know, like it had to be a stag do or a 40th birthday. Uh, and then Rob, who's here, is Jez's brother, who I met uh, several years after that. And Rob has been a TV presenter, personality, smooth guy. No, never a personality. But... <laughs> who is the presenter of the podcast. And then through both of them, I met yourself, James. And you uh, are actually a pilot, and you should actually be doing something about uh, about an aviation podcast, and that is what makes up our podcast, Top Landing Gear. And you now I have, have to. to... Say, I have to say quickly, actually, just a very quick aside. When Roy and I first met, um, just just goes to show that how little ego Roy has. For the first three or four weeks on a Friday night at cricket, I used to say, Ray. It's like a beer. <laughs> and, he, and he just go, it's Roy. I go, okay, Ray. Beer. And for about the first three weeks, I kept calling him Ray, but he didn't mind. And here we are, look. I'd do anything for beer. <laughs> <laughs> anything. <laughs> Call me what you like. Yeah, I did. I called you Ray. <laughs> um, and how do you think producing a hit podcast is different from producing music? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, it's actually, it's quite... It's been quite challenging. <laughs> uh, no, it's really good fun. It's I'm enjoying the band, it. I think... It's the band that's the problem. <laughs> totally. It's always the band that's the problem. That's what all producers say. Uh, but I think I'm really impressed. I'm excited about, I'm excited for people to hear the podcast because I think even if you're into aviation, there's two sections to our podcast. So we've got a short one, which is about 20 to 30 minutes where the four of us talk uh, and have a bit of a laugh talking about some aspect of aviation or flying uh, which has been really fun and then if you're really into aviation there's a secondary aspect to the podcast where we interview somebody uh quite in depth uh our first proper episode is all about the spitfire and we speak to one of the most experienced spitfire pilots in this country uh and that's all coming up soon and do you think the uh, top landing gear podcast would appeal to your average scouting for girls fan <laughs> I don't know. I think, so. no, I, I think maybe. I'm not it's, sure scouting the girls appeals to the average scouting the girls fan. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fun to see. I'm going to hopefully some scout for girls fans have, have made it this far in this interview. And, uh, and if they've made it this far, then maybe they'll make it this far through the podcast. I hope they do. The podcast isn't aimed. It's aimed at everybody, the, the first section of it. And I, th I hope, you know, if you've got a general interest in some sort of, you know, flying. One of, the, one of the best things about the podcast, we have a section called Ask James, James being down here, who is actually a pilot, has flown jets and helicopters in the Air Force and commercial planes. And you get a chance to ask him anything you like about flying. Uh, whether he can answer it or not is another question. <laughs> but... Uh, that's been, a, that's been my favourite part of the podcast so far. So anybody who's got, you know, if you've ever flown in a plane, you may hopefully find some sort of interest in it. Well, it's been a lot of fun so far. We're really looking forward to it going out there. Thanks, guys. Uh, thanks, Roy. And um, yeah, yeah, listen to the podcast. Go so to fun. iTunes now, subscribe, leave us a review, and we will love you forever. Will thanks. do. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Bye. Bye.